Yeah, so this is Jeremiah chapter 49 and verse 20, and it reads, Therefore, hear the counsel of the Lord, Yahweh, that he have taken against Edom. All right, this is the Lord's counsel, man. This is what he's decreeing. Okay, this is what he has ordained from the beginning, from the foundation of the world, all right? It says, And his purposes that he hath purposed against the inhabitants of Teman. Surely the least of the flock are the so called Israelis, all right? The so called Israelis, the so called Israeli state, all right? Surely the le least of the flock shall draw them out. He's just, again, he's just a pawn, he's a puppet. He works for the Zionists, okay? It says, surely the least of the flock, talking about Zelensky, surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. They're drawing out Germany. They're drawing out Poland. They're drawing out the whore, Babylon, America. Okay, they're drawing out France. All right, all these nations are getting ready to be drawn into this third world's war. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. Surely he shall make their habitations desolate with them. Verse 21, the earth was moved at the noise of their fall. At the cry, the noise thereof was heard in the Red Sea. Well, the, no the, the noise of Babylon falling is going to be felt throughout the whole earth, man. Okay? And again, that's not going to happen, you know, before. The, the, these other certain prophecies have to be fulfilled, you know, like the famine of hearing the words of Yahweh, Amos chapter 8, verses 11 through 13. The implementation of Karagma, the sea hip on a global scale. Okay? Then, then you know, uh, the nuke's coming, you know? And the chariots showing up, Ronald Dalton Jr. All right, the ships. All right. So, yeah, more destruction. What is this? Destroyed tanks and armored vehicles. Let's see what this is. Uh, short little clip. More of the same. Let's see what this is. More same destroy tanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. decimating the Ukraine, man. But again, let 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 the mainstream spin doctors over here tell it. And you you gonna think y'all over here putting praying for Ukraine on your damn social media profile pictures? It ain't no prayers for Ukraine, man. Hey, ain't no they ain't no saving the Ukraine. Ain't no saving. Hey, look, all these nations ultimately are gonna be destroyed, man. Uh, going into uh, Joel's the third chapter, man. Prayers for Ukraine. They got you fool Americans over here thinking that. You, the Ukraine has a chance. <laughs> Shows you how stupid and pathetic you people are here. And you know what? Our people, first and foremost, man. Y'all, y'all unbelievers, man. Y'all ought to be ashamed of yourselves. And you know what? After you feel death by pain, all right, and you have to serve your punishment, okay, uh, and you come back into the kingdom, you are gonna, you are gonna hold your head now when you encounter the prophets. You are gonna feel ashamed, man. That you, that you, you know, that you was in such a, a, a stupor, spiritually speaking, you know, and you can, you didn't see these things. Joel's chapter three. Wait, 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 hold on. Hold on. Before I read that, let, let's watch this video. Russian artillery hits Ukrainian soldiers hiding in a school in Pavlovka. All right, let's see this. Got a little eighty, got a little eighties feel to it right there. <laughs> All right, this is Joel's chapter three. 
<laughs> Joel chapter 3 and verse 9 proclaim ye this among the Gentiles, right? The natural Gentiles, right? Prepare war. That's right. And that's what these nations are doing, man. They're preparing for war. All right. China, Japan, Iran, all these nations, Turkey, you know. These nations are getting ready. It says, prepare war, wake up the mighty men, Ethiopia, Libya, Egypt. All right. It says, uh, North Korea, India, Pakistan, Saudi Arabia, <laughs> Yemen. It says, prepare war, wake up the mighty men, let all the men of war draw near, let them come up. Beat your plowshares and the swords and your pruning hooks and the spears, let the weak say, I am strong. Uh, one example of this, the weak saying they're strong is North Korea. They, they, they continue, all right, to taunt. All right, South Korea, all right, uh, uh, an ally of the war, you know, with all their uh, 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 missiles they've been uh, uh, firing lately, okay? They're saying they're strong too, and they are. They, they got nuclear, nuclear capabilities themselves. All right, it says, assemble yourselves, verse 11, and come all ye heathen and gather yourselves together round about. Thither cause thy mighty ones to come down, O Lord, Yahweh. Verse 12, let the heathen be wakened and come up to the valley of Yahweh Shapat. all right, the valley of the Lord's judgment. All right, Yahweh, Shapat, Shapat being judgment, Yahweh, name of the Lord says, for there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. He's going to destroy the heathen armies in the Valley of Decision, man. All right, that's the end of all this. All right, that's the end of all this. And, uh, you know, I started this, this lesson out with um, the scriptures talking about the slain of the Lord, you know, the dead being everywhere, dead bodies everywhere, the slain of the Lord. Um, let's see if we want to watch anything else. And that's how I'm going to end the lesson. All right. With um, going back to the book of Isaiah, how I'll end it. Isaiah 66. A lot of death and instructions coming, man. A lot of death. Isaiah chapter 66. And I'll start in verse 15. For behold, the Lord Yahweh will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind. Ronald Dalton Jr. and your proselytes, all right? Those are the UFOs, okay? That's what you call UFOs and UAP. Chariots of the Lord, the chariots of Yahshua Rala. All right, that's how Yahweh shine the angels are coming back. It says, for behold, the Lord, Yahweh will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord, Yahweh plead with all flesh and the slain of the Lord, Yahweh shall be many. That's what's coming, man. Again, just to kind of recap real quick. Things aren't always as they seem. All right. War News 247.gr is a good source. All right. For, you know, a, a more accurate uh, picture. All right. Of what's going down in, uh, in, in this part of the world over there in the Ukraine on the border of Russia and Ukraine. All right. Because you're not getting the, 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 the full skinny, you know with with your mainstream media outlets over here all right he, he, gog and magog is look the old ussr spirit is being resurrected over there in that part of the world all right the lord said he's gonna put hooks in their jaws okay and russia is gonna lead the charge man russia is gonna lead the charge against ultimately babylon the great aka america they're gonna come up to the land of unwalled villages you go into ezekiel's again the 38th chapter for that all right, which the land on wall villages is America. All right, I don't want to write this out, Lord willing, you were edified. And with that, I want to say, Shalom.